What is going on guys? This is the Village Idiot with C Shepherd 2 Gaming back with another tutorial for your GTA online female character and today I kind of wanted this one to be a surprise so excuse the uh, first person view but today we are actually going to be building Psycho Mantis from Metal Gear Solid. Now for this one guys it's going to require you to do a couple of glitches as you can see here we've got the long gloves normally only found on the Valentine's Day dresses but I'm going to show you how to get around that and also for this outfit you're going to need to glitch the gas mask from the heist coveralls but I'm not actually going to show you how to do that in this video and I will explain that a little bit later on but you know what let's hop into this tutorial Alright, so to start off this outfit, what you're actually going to want to do is first go to your nearest barber shop or your Bob Moulet, whatever have you. Um, because when you do the actual gas mask glitch, um, I don't know if anyone else has ever noticed this, but in place of where the hair would be is a nasty looking just blank texture that matches the color of whatever your current hair is. So what you're going to want to do is actually go to the nearest barber shop and actually pick the close shave option. What this is going to do is basically keep it blank so you don't have a nasty looking mess on top of your head. Uh, from there, the makeup, the eyes, the, the lipstick, none of that matters. So go ahead and back out of there and head to either your nearest clothing store or back to your personal closet. Alright, so now that we have the hair taken care of, let's go ahead and actually build the outfit. We're going to start with the pants and what we're actually going to do is go down and select the team pants option and set it to black combat pants. Uh, for Psycho Mantis, he's got this kind of weird lining that extends from the top of his outfit through the gloves all the way down to the pants, and you're not going to get that look, but I think these, or this option here is going to be as close as you get to the bottoms. Uh, from there, you're going to want to go into tops and choose from see, it's the tucked t-shirts option. Make sure it is the tucked. Uh, black rolled tee. If you use the standard uh, black rolled tee, it will not work with this outfit. And like I said at the very beginning, you're going to be using a couple different glitches for this outfit, so make sure you follow the standard. So go ahead and uh, click the black rolled tee. And from there, back out and actually go down to glasses. Go down to high end glasses and choose the Garnet figure eights. Now, this isn't going to make an ounce of sense right now. But trust me, it will in just a moment. So, okay, you've basically got the outfit done. But go ahead and back out of your options and actually bring up your interaction menu. Go to Styles, click Accessories, and go all the way down to the Gloves option. Now, you won't be able to do this uh, from the actual options within like the Accessories menu at the store or even within your closet. The gloves here at the end, the long gloves, are only to be used with the dresses uh, that came out with Valentine's Day, and there's a couple other that use the long uh, gloves. But if you use the long gloves in combination with the tucked rolled t-shirt, don't ask me why, it sticks. So what you're going to do is make sure you have already purchased the red Valentine's Day dress and the black, and apply the black long gloves. Alright, and then once you have these gloves in place, you're going to actually back out of this menu here, go to Parachute, and set Parachute to on, and make sure that you have the black combat shoot bag. I don't actually have one on hand, it looks like, right now, but uh, you're going to need to get one of those from Ammunition, and make sure that the option is set to on. And go ahead and back out of there. And what you're going to want to do is save this outfit. Now, from here, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and uh, apply the gas mask glitch. 
And what you're going to need to do that is you're going to need to have the scientists or whatever the other uh, heist coveralls are. I forget their names. I only own one of them because realistically the only difference between them is the color of the coveralls themselves. But you're going to need that and you're going to need to do the gas mask glitch. Now I'm not going to show you, like I said at the very beginning, I'm not going to show you how to actually do the glitch simply because Rockstar has a very bad habit of patching that glitch so I don't want this video to become obsolete and everybody bitch at me for not actually showing the glitch but there are plenty of methods of doing so the telescope method um, and there's a, a couple other methods but point standing you need to be able to glitch that gas mask onto this out and when all is said and done you are left with this this is as close as I can come to Psycho Mantis uh, the reason we put the red garnet uh, sunglasses on you can see they kind of pop through uh, the windows in the gas mask to sort of uh, simulate the the red lenses the psycho mantis has and the reason we changed the character to bald was so you didn't have that nasty patch that I was talking about earlier and it looks nice and clean the parachute sort of uh, simulates the harness that uh, Mantis wore in Metal Gear, but uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. This is my version of Psycho Mantis. Hopefully this uh, tutorial was helpful. If it wasn't, please be sure to leave some comments down below. I'm always looking for ways to improve how I like to do things. I know other people would probably like to see this you know some sort of input uh, but if this tutorial was helpful be sure to leave us a like give us a comment and be sure to also click that subscribe button down below but uh, that's all the time we have today folks uh, on behalf of Sea Shepherd 2 Gaming this is the Village Idiot and we will see you in the next video you guys have a good one I'm out